Hello, this is Roland. Today I want to read you a little something from Brother Lawrence, practicing the presence of God. Brother Lawrence, something that he told to a friend of his who then wrote it down. Brother Lawrence is talking about his fault. And he said, he said that this person is telling about Brother, about Brother Lawrence. Brother Lawrence was very sensible of his faults, but not discouraged by them, that he confessed them to God, but did not plead against him to excuse them. When he had done so, he peacefully resumed his usual practice of love and adoration. That in his trouble of mind, he had consulted nobody, but knowing only by the light of faith that God was present, he contented himself with directing all his actions to him, i.e. doing them with the desire to please him and let what would come of it. That useless thoughts spoil all, that the mischief began there, but that we ought to reject them as soon as we perceive their impertinence to the matter at hand or our salvation and return to our communion with God. Now, do you understand that communion with God is, is being quiet, being still. And when you perceive a fault, you see it in, in God's light. You see that you have a fault. Maybe you didn't see it before. Now you see it. Even persistent faults, you see it again and again. But you realize that you can't change yourself. There's nothing you can do. You can't make yourself better. And the useless thoughts that come to mind, they're impertinent. So you dismiss them. In other words, you stand back from them. Just observe them, but pay them no mind. And just wait upon God quietly with the idea that you are seeing your faults in God's light. That's a very, very wonderful realization to realize that when you see you're wrong, you're seeing it in his light. Maybe you never saw it before. You didn't even know little selfishnesses and little resentments and little things like that. You didn't even know. Now you see it, but you're seeing it in his light. And so you know that he knows and he's showing you and you realize that you can't change yourself. So you, you wait upon him to change you. Kind of like, if I'm gonna get better, if I'm gonna change, then it, he's gonna have to do it. You understand? So it's very beautiful. And then he said, return, that, that we ought to, that useless thoughts spoil all and the mischief began there. See, where do these thoughts come from? They're always interjecting themselves, trying to take credit or trying to tease you into taking credit for something. Or they blame you or they accuse you or they distract you. They're up to no good. There's mischief there. Mischief. So don't react. Just observe. Pay it no mind but that we ought to reject them as soon as we perceive their impertinence and return to our communion with God. Do you see? And that's what the meditation helps you to do when you stand back from thought. It's not a question of blanking thought or trying to eliminate thought or suppress thought or anything like that. There's a the thought, you see it, but you just sort of pay it no mind. It's like a, like a bad TV show. At three in the morning, you wake up and the TV's at the other side of the room and there's a bad movie on there. It's simply blaring away and it's not credible. You just, it goes in one ear and out the other, so to speak. See, you stand back and you return to watching the little part, pixels of light on the inside of your eyelids. There they are. The little pattern of light, the glow of light and you're aware of your hand. See, that, that's what you can do. If you want to do something, if you really want to do something, that will be a value. Instead of rushing around trying to change things and change people and 
make yourself look good in their eyes. If you could just sit quietly and watch the little pixels of light on the inside of your eyelids, the spiritual light there, and be aware of your hand till it becomes a little tingly. Then you do that, and while you're doing that, some of God's light filters through you and downloads into you and changes you, just like the sunlight changes the dirty towel and makes it fresh, so to speak. It's very beautiful, and that's called communion with God.